Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then welcome and I hope that this channel encourages you to live your best extra nail life to be out here stunning on these hoes. <laughs> Um, I would like to give a big shout out to all the essential workers from the nurses to the people who work in the grocery stores. You guys are doing an excellent job and we are thankful for you guys. So today on this beautiful Wednesday, we are going to get into this video on Gresham's Liquid Poly Gel. So stay tuned. So right here is me just chopping off these nails. They are the full cover gel tips by you know Couture, the one two three go in almond clear. They were the clear ones. I think next time if I buy them again, which I actually probably will because they held up very well. But if when I buy them again, okay, I'll say that when I buy them again, I will be getting them in. Um, eternal beige because that that's a really nice color too so what I'm doing right now is I'm using my Madame Glam gel polish remover it's kind of like the those gel polish removers that were um, popping up on Instagram a couple months ago where you put it on wait five minutes and then it just like bubbles and bursts and boom gel gel polish gone it's kind of like that. I'm going to assume that it is uh, probably a little bit better only because <laughs> Madame Glam is vegan and cruelty free. So I would hope that they are living up to the standard that they are uh, telling us that they have. So I just use this, this, uh, the remover and uh, e file, my e file. And I just take everything off. And honestly, if you guys don't have that, I'm pretty sure that you can skip that step. Just get a really good coarse bit. And I think the bit that I'm using right now is just a regular coarse bit. It's not like extra coarse or anything. It's just regular coarse. But I cannot tell you where I got it from because I don't remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out there AliExpress because honestly, that's where I get most of my stuff. I can't remember you guys I'm so sorry if I remember I'll put the link down in the description box As you can see, I do not have a nail duster or a duster, dust collector, dust vent ventilator. I don't know how you would say it. Either way, I don't have it. I need it, <laughs> but I do not have it. And eventually I'm gonna get one because as you can see, dust just piles up. It's not fun at all. So this is me pushing my cuticles back, making sure that I am loosening up all of this skin so that I can take it off and so that my, wow, don't know what that was, but so that my finish looks, looks amazing. Um, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but I think that they call it paranicky. Hmm. grows really fast and thick under my nails which is why I also put cuticle softener underneath my nails as well as on my regular cuticle the cuticle softener that I used was super nail cuticle softener and remover I got it from Sally's Beauty now I'm going through with my I don't think that this is a coarse, I mean not coarse, um, a fine grit, but a medium grit 
you to go a little cleaner. I'm not gonna lie, it came with the nail file. And oh, that's all I can, that's all I know about it. It came with the e-file. That's all I know about it. So I use, I always use the Model One's nail dehydrator and the OPI bond bonder. Personally, I like the OPI bonder so much better than the Model One's bonder that came in the pack with the dehydrator. Ooh, and now to the good stuff. All right, so the poly gel kit came with three, I mean not three, six colors, those nail forms and that nail file. These nail forms were the best nail forms I've ever had. Granted, I've only had one pair of nail forms. Ooh, that is rose pink. white I mean not white clear <laughs> I think that one was cover pink natural pink bean red and the last one is white these are the same exact colors that come in their regular poly gel kit. Um, but I was a little bit disappointed with the bean red because in the regular poly gel kit, it looks like a kidney bean color. And that's the color that I was looking for, but it's, and it, it's kind of like that color, but it's really, really muted in my set, in my opinion. Cause I want that joint to be like bad, bad, like here I am, kidney bean. These nail forms are too dieful. I, I like them personally. But let me know what y'all think if you guys have this kit. I was having trouble getting it on my um on my index finger. So I kind of gave up a little bit on that one for the moment and just stuck to doing my thumb. A lot of times if when I do videos or just in general, I'll either do my four fingers first and then my thumb or I'll do my thumb and then my four fingers. I don't know why it's just easier for me or I like how it, I like doing my thumb separately from my fingers. So whether I do it first or I do it last, it's not going to be done with the other ones. So I just went in with the hydrator and primer. One, I think I did two coats of dehydrator and two coats of primer. And then going in with the base gel. You know what I just thought would be a really cool experiment? Um, what's that thing called? It might not even work. Uh, you know, Couture's base gel is really thick and I kind of wonder if you could um, build a nail with it. Like build your nail up with it. Hmm, video ideas. <laughs> So my first color swatch was white. I like this white color. I was looking for a white color and my sister had um, said that she wanted me to do a milky white on her, which I mean, it's not a milky white, but I would definitely probably be doing her refill because I just gave her regular poly gel extensions using my gelish no gel like poly gel from aliexpress 
So I'll probably be doing her refill with some white. Because I thought that that would be cool. So per the instructions, you cure for a minute and then boom, you're there. I lied. Cure for three minutes and then boom, you're there. So I start to try to build the nail up and I'm not gonna lie, it was really hard. This is my first time working with this kind of, um, I'm lying, it's not <laughs> my first time working with this kind of thing. I have worked with the Gelish hard, hard Builder Gel before, but never just sculpted, I don't think, or I can't remember anyway. But this was really hard to try to build out because it was so, it wasn't like extremely, uh, I don't know if I want to say viscous, but it wasn't extremely runny. But it was runny enough to where you really had to like be really quick about it. And I was just not quick about it at all. So it ended up taking, um, it ended up not taking, it ended up frustrating me a lot because I felt like it was moving around too much and I couldn't get it to where I needed to get it to. started out using just a regular nail file and then I realized that it was not getting me anywhere. I think it was just a little nail file that I got from Walmart that don't really have no grit or shape or whatever on it. So I started using the Gresham's nail file that they gave you in the, in the kit and it worked well. I don't think that I used, I don't think that I really used my um, e-file on my thumb. trying to get the initial shape and honestly from the top it don't look that bad and I was I did I was having problems with the Gretchen file and that's only because um when I had first used it or the first time they used it there was a black residue on it so I was really skeptical skeptical about how my work was gonna come out and all that stuff. But this time around, it did not, there was no residue or anything. And I was pretty happy. So now I'm just moving on, moving, easing on down the road. And I decided to do two nails at a time, uh, hoping that it would be, hoping that, it would be better or I would I would be okay hoping that it would get done basically uh, and as you're gonna see it does not get done the way that I wanted to in the slightest you will also notice that I forgot to put uh, the hydrator and primer on my other nails and that's because Honestly, I had forgot if I did and then I was looking at my nails and I'm like, no, I did. I did. I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Again, this video, I think it was up till two in the morning with this video. So by that time, I'm like, what? <laughs> which way is up? Which way is down? But it's all good. All good in the hood. So far, I mean, granted, it's only been two days, but thus far, the nails are holding up pretty well. 
they didn't, they haven't like peeled off or anything. Or haven't gone wacky, I should say. I'm just repeating the same steps that I did, putting down the base coat, curing, and then grabbing the liquid poly gel to start sculpting my nails. Um, I'm going to apologize for the sounds that you may hear in the background. I live near a train and there's a, for some strangers, a lot of commotion going on outside. But that was just me. The next color, this color I think was the um, natural pink. I would think that you would use this one for French manicures. Whereas maybe the cover pink you would use for, for American manicures. If anyone has ever gotten an American manicure, it's kind of like a French manicure to me, but the polish that they use is like a tinted clear coat, if that makes any sense. Like it's not, it's not like white or anything. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I haven't gotten one in a while. I really don't know how to explain it at all. Yeah, so as you can see, running. And I keep taking my finger out of frame because I can't, like I'm trying to make it so that I'm not letting it run. Or I'm um, trying to level it out just a little bit, but it really wasn't working you guys I don't know maybe I just need to watch some more videos on people who've done it so that I can fully understand and grasp and give you guys give you guys that information but it was not working on my own sis at all
The next color I did was um, the red bean color, but this this one is the um, natural pink. And then after this natural pink, I did the red bean color. to try to clip down the sides because I didn't really want to be filing all crazy into the night and of course at the time I could not find my big 
No clippers to save my life. And again, just using a little file that I got from Sally Beauty. They have the beauty secrets for Sally, not Sally Beauty. Oh well, it is Sally's Beauty. But Sally Supply, Beauty Supply, they have the beauty secret files. And those are the ones that I normally get because I really like them. Or I've been using them for a while, so I really have more like of that one. And I ended up having to file the, use my electric file for some stuff as well. Cause I, like you guys, I really did not like how this was coming out. And I was getting upset. Most of the nails were flat, well, aside from the uh, thumbnail, all the other nails are flat. They have no apex, are flat. They have no apex to them, especially the middle one and the index finger. It was just not going the way that I wanted them to go. And I was originally supposed to be doing a uh, coffin coffin nails but somewhere along the line I guess I 86 that idea I was just like these nails is getting filed and I'm going to be And even now I kind of tried to build some more of it up. It wasn't really working the way that I wanted it to work. It still had that little, like that weird little dip that you get in the middle there. So hopefully I'll be able to um, keep working on this. And let you guys know or make another video because I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna have to make another video I feel like this this video did not do this um, this product justice although in my mind I had originally just said that I was going to use it for refills for either poly gel or for my one, two, three, go nail tips and my prey nails. I feel like it could work. Like, <laughs> we can make it work somewhere. <gasps> Who knows, so. though?
time that I was like, I'm really satisfied with how this came out for this being my first try. Um, and then as soon as I was about to put the base gel, base coat on and the neon polish, my phone died. So there's that. I was able, however, to get a nice little boomerang for you guys with the finished outcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you would like to see on this channel. If there's anything that you would like for me to review. Anything that you like for me to do or at least try to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.